Gridlock has always had a low pick and win rate, and in her current state, I just do not understand that. In this operative how-to, for your newer players, I'll be teaching you how to play her, and for your veteran players, I'll be trying to convince you to play her again. Gridlock is a 3 armor, and she fulfills the roles as Flank Watch and Aerial Denial. For her primary gadget, she comes up to 4 Shrak Stingers. If you notice through the gameplay, one of these stingers will activate immediately when you throw it, and then more will spawn in in a circular fashion. If a defender steps in the track stingers without destroying it in any way, they will be slowed significantly, and they will take 10 damage per second. However, the defenders can destroy it in two ways, either by shooting it, or by destroying it with any type of explosives, mainly an impact grenade. And when defenders step in the track stingers, they will make noise as well. But no matter what they do, they will be making sound, so the flank watch aspect of the gadget is very strong. But if you put it on staircases, especially if there's more than one roamer, then the roamers have to deal with it in some way, and thus making noise. And going back to the gameplay of the gadget, you can hear that it's making sound. So hypothetically speaking, you get to the part where you have to plant the diffuser. If you throw down at least two of your Shrek Stingers, it will make so much noise that the defenders will not hear that you are planting the diffuser, provided they have no cams on you already. And like I said before, it's insane at aerial denial because there are so much Stingers that come out of one canister. And remember, you come with four of these so you can do flank watch, aerial denial, and you can help with the planter and still at least have one more at your disposal. And the planter is usually a support operator, mainly the hard breachers. And trust me, you are going to be helping the hard breachers a lot because Gridlock also comes with EMP impacts. What I failed to mention about EMP impacts in some of my other videos is the fact that they have a smaller radius than Thatcher and they disable things for much shorter. And you only come with two of these, but that doesn't matter because the fact that you can help Thermite get the wall when Thatcher is already banned and you come before of your Shrek singers, and not to mention you also come with a Gone 6. I mean, utility-wise, Gridlock is amazing. But now let me talk about her loadout. Gridlock consists of the Gon 6 and the EMP impacts, like I said, but she also comes with one of my favorite ARs in the game, the F-90 Assault Rifle. The F-90 comes with 800 RPM, which is pretty good, but it comes with kind of low damage with 38, but with Extended Bow, it can go all the way up to 41, so the damage is not an issue, and it has no recoil to speak of. And not to mention, it comes up to an ACOG, so you can run the two times on it as well. And also, if you're not really feeling the Gon 6 and you want to try to soft breach, she does come with a super shorty shotgun that is a secondary weapon, so you can kind of do soft destruction with that as well, but I 100% recommend the Gon 6 because she brings with so much utility as is. And this is the part of the video where I give my personal opinion on Gridlock, and I 100% think that you should be playing her a lot more. She comes with a wonderful gadget, an amazing gadget at that. It can do so many things, and you come up to four of them. She has an amazing AR, she comes with EMP impacts, and she comes with Gon 6. The only thing I can see that can stop people from playing her is the fact that she is a 3 arm. But personally, I don't think that's a big deal. I think Relic is an amazing operator, and I 100% recommend her if you're a newer player, because she is 100% worth the renown. Easy to use gun, easy to use gadget, Gon 6, EMP, I could go on. But I hope I made you decide if you're a newer player, if you want to get Gridlock. And I also hope for any veteran Siege players that are watching this video potentially, that I made you reconsider replaying Gridlock. But with all that said, I'm going to say this is the end of the video. If you like what I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you're interested in any other operators that I've covered, I have more than likely covered them, because I've covered almost every single one. However, if I have not covered the opt you're interested in, go ahead and go into the comments and I will give it a heart, like it, and I will do a dedicated how-to of how to play that operator in the meantime. I do look at every comment that you post, so more than likely I will see your comment and I would love to make an operator guide for you. And if you comment an operator that I have already covered, I will let you know and I will direct you to that video or you can go check out my playlist. 
I am Credo Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night and goodbye.